Okay, so you wanted to know how to add weeding lines. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a basic line. <clears throat> and I'm going to put lines all the way across this so I can peel it in sections. So once I've got my line, I'm going to go to the Replicate. And I'm going to go to the Advanced Features of Replicate. Because if I try to replicate them now, they're going to be right on top of each other. And we don't want that. So, I will go to Advanced. Let's say I want about 12 weeding lines. I need to go to Custom Position, how far apart I want these. So, I want these to be about, uh, say, 3 fourths of an inch. And then I'm going to Replicate. Um, I can adjust, select them first, and I want to make them a compound path. And then from here, I can just adjust the set where I want them. Now, what I want to do to this is send it to the back. And it's important that this is in the back for this to work. Then I'm going to select everything that I have. And just to let you notice, you see there's lines in between these two graphics. These will disappear, and this will become one complete graphic. So I'm going to select it all, and I'm going to go to my Modify tool. And then from there, I'm going to hit Subtract All. It doesn't really look like anything's happened. However, when I go to cut that, you'll notice these lines are gone in between the crosses, uh, like the shoes where they cross. But when I move this from my design, you see the cut lines are now uh, are no longer going through my design. So once I've cut all this, I can just peel in sections. So if I have something delicate that I'm trying to weed, um, it gives me a little more control. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate. Um, just a side note, it is important to do these steps in the exact order that um, I described them so it will turn out the right way. Thanks.